Okay. Siki here and I'm coming to you guys with another video and this video is exciting per the huge. <laughs> in one of my videos I'm not gonna even tell you which video it was in because if I did I'll be telling the story because I don't remember but in that video I talked about having an under eye creasing issue so in this video I'm going to give you guys tips on how I have been combating that problem okay no I'm just kidding no but seriously let me get my handy dandy phone I'm gonna try to make this short and sweet and I I am gonna give you guys like clips of how I do this, the technique that I've been using that has been working for me. Now, here's a disclaimer. I have not eliminated creasing under my eye. If y'all know how to eliminate creasing to where you never ever have it again, please let your girl know in the comment sections, I'm just saying. But what I have found is a way to minimize the creasing so that it doesn't crease as quick and your makeup lasts a little bit longer under your eyes, okay? Because I honestly do still have creasing. Just wanna let you know. So I'm gonna give you guys my five tips that I've been using and I'm gonna show you guys clips as well. But you guys feel free. If you have any additional tips or any information you wanna offer, feel free to put it in the comment section because I'm gonna tell you, one of these tips you guys totally helped me with. I don't remember who it was exactly, but you guys totally rock. I just want y'all to know, y'all are the bomb.com. The first tip is using eye cream. I have been using eye cream. I told you guys in my favorites video that I have been using the Clinique. I think it's called Pep Start. I will put pictures and everything in this video, so don't worry, I got you. But I've been using it, but I only use it at nighttime. The reason that I only use it at night is because it is extremely hydrating, and I don't wanna over hydrate my under eyes because I don't want that to cause creasing as well. Number two, if you, and I'm reading from my notes because I don't want to leave anything out, so don't judge me, okay? I'm totally a nerd. But if you're going to use a corrector, try using it right before your concealer application so it doesn't have a chance to crease. This is a technique that I've been trying only for the last two weeks because I noticed that I'll put on my corrector before I apply my foundation, and then by the time I get to the concealer, I have to blend out that corrector again, especially if I'm using the Makeup Forever corrector because it is a little more hydrating than the Peach Luster by MAC. So lately, I've been using my Peach Luster. So, you know, if I really want it to last all day, but if I'm just rocking it for a few hours, like if it's a Sunday and I know I'm going to church and coming home, I will use the Makeup Forever corrector that is a little more hydrating. But either one you use, you can do that process after you put on your foundation. You just have to be a little more careful so you don't get the corrector on top of the foundation, which it's a little challenge for me because I tend to just kind of, y'all know how I pack stuff on, okay? So anyway, I have started applying that after the foundation. And number three, I've been using Tarte's Shape Tape Concealer. I have the shade Deep, but I am going to find a shade that is great for under eye highlighting because now I'm blending two. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape with the Too Faced, I was about to say better than sex, but the Too Faced, what is it called? Born This Way Concealer in Tan to mix it to get my perfect highlight, which you guys will see a clip rolling now. Okay, and a drugstore alternate will be the Maybelline Better Skin. I love that concealer too. I just kind of got away from it because I have been using the Too Faced Born This Way. I keep wanting to call it the mascara, but I've been using the Too Faced Born This Way. Absolutely love it. It's just very hydrating. So if I use that by itself, I have to let it sit for a while so that it dries out just a little bit because if it's too hydrating, then I find that it causes creasing, okay? And that's what we don't want. But an alternate or a drugstore alternate would be the Maybelline Better Skin and the deepest shade they have right now is deep. So that is what I use. Hopefully they come out with deeper shades. Maybelline. Can you hear me now? Just kidding. Really I'm not though. And number four. Do not apply the concealer directly under your eye because we want to eliminate, not eliminate, but we want to minimize the amount of product that we put under our eyes because the more we put under there, the more we're packing in there and it can allow it to crease, okay? Unless you are a baker and you end up drying that out, but I'm gonna get to the whole baking situation in a minute because I don't really do it. And then when I apply the concealer, I apply it underneath the line and then as I blend it out, which I will show you in the clip, as I blend it out, I tend to blend it upward so that it goes, you know, directly under my eye, but I'm not putting it directly in the crease, if that makes sense. But I can show you better than I can tell you. But that seems to have been helping as well. And another tip, which is not part of the five tips, but another tip to hide the lines under your eyes is to wear liner in your lash line, you guys, because when the liner goes down here in your lash line, if your lines are close to your lash line like mine are, it tends to cover it up just a little bit and then 
nobody knows. I think I've told you guys that tip before. Number five, this is important and this is what I learned from you guys here on the tube. Drink, Drink plenty, plenty of water. water because if you do not drink water then you will become dehydrated or you can lack hydration i won't say dehydrated but you won't be as hydrated as you should be but one of the things that came up was hydration and then it made me think i'm like aha i totally have been drinking more coffee and I have been drinking less water. And not that I wasn't drinking water, but I wasn't drinking as much water as I used to drink. So once I started increasing my intake of water, I totally noticed a difference under my eyes. So if you are experiencing under eye creasing heavily, try that out, it may help you. Now, lastly, this is not a tip, but I'm gonna tell you guys, I do not bake, I do not bake, I do not bake. Now, I'm not saying that baking is a bad thing. I'm not saying that you should not bake or if you do bake to stop baking. Baking is just when you let the powder sit under your eye and let it kind of cook and let everything get sealed in so that the makeup doesn't move so that you don't have any creasing. I don't do that, y'all. I tried it a few times, but I'm just not built for baking. I just continue to apply the powder as needed and I set it that way. So that's just something that I noticed that I don't like to do. It's just my preference. Cause a lot of people are like, you don't bake? You don't, oh my, you don't bake. It just dries a sister out, okay? But I mean, some of y'all may want that, but for me, it just makes me look like I'm about 100 years old, just saying. But anyway, I told you guys if I figured a way to minimize creasing or to help with that little situation that I was having, that I will come back and I will let y'all know. And I figured it was better to do a dedicated video than to try to rush through it in another video. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you like videos or you wanna see more videos like this, <laughs> Don't forget to thumbs up. I know I tell y'all all the time, but I appreciate your support. Y'all are the bomb.com. Y'all rock, okay? And y'all have an awesome, blessed day. And I will see you sooner than you think. Bye. Tiki be me. Confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or a Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, Tiki Beauty makeover. Confidence is key, ladies, you know what I mean. Or maybe her eyeshadow and mascara will help you see. Check out her foundation and the blush on her cheek. Yeah, we ain't playing games, it's the Tiki Beauty. Yeah, Tiki Beauty.